Hi friends, today I am going to review the movie which has just been released, Thugs of Hindustan. So you might have heard a lot about this movie and have been anticipating it. It was released today morning, Thursday, the day after Diwali. And I guess there's been a lot of hype and uh, you may have come across some publicity stunts and teasers and trailers but uh, essentially the movie is quite boring and it's really a disappointment over what you might have expected. So what happens here is that um, Clive is an English company uh, major or whatever officer who betrays a certain uh, sultan of India and kills him and his family except his daughter who survives. It is in fact Amitabh Bachchan who plays the role of Khuda Baksh who takes her away. So that daughter is Zafira being played by Fatima Sana Sheikh. And uh, the movie then revolves around uh, how Amitabh Bachchan and his gang of thugs harass the Britishers. So they, the Britishers are already in touch with a person called Amir Khan, a Firangi Malla, who is, uh, gives them information about local thieves and collects money in return. So in fact, in the opening scene, it is shown that uh, he collects money from thieves and leads them to places, uh, people where they can loot. And later they be he betrays them and gives the gets a payment from the Britishers to uh, who who he leads them who who he leads to those thugs. So um, I mean, the concept of Amir Khan is pretty good. And throughout the movie, he's always uh, you know you can trust him, and sometimes he betrays you. And this happens right till the very end of the movie. So uh, they could have played on this role uh, very well, but it doesn't come off so strong so although Amir Khan has tried his best the entire movie seems like a hodgepodge the direction is very patchy the editing is not so great I think the movie is too long and there are many uh, places which could have been you know cut or snipped off and uh, to make it uh, you know around about 2 hours 15 minutes which would have been good for this film so 2 hours 45 minutes is just too long and unbearable. Secondly, uh, it's really drowsy. I mean, the first half is very dull and boring. The songs are poor. The music is done by Ajay Atul. And somehow it just doesn't come off as very dynamic or of that period. So I, I think the music was quite a disappointment. So individually, everyone has tried well. Uh, Fatima Sana Sheikh has a very l large character, much more than Katrina Kaif. But, uh, you know, she doesn't come off as a powerful actress. Amitabh has tried his best. Amir Khan has given it a good shot. So, uh, but overall, you know, the there's a mix between uh, Amitabh who's fighting against the British and Amir whom no one knows what he's doing. Uh, is he supporting the thugs or is he supporting the British? And if he... Actually, he agrees to uh, catch uh, Amitabh for the Britishers on the on receipt of a certain payment. But uh, later on, he lets go of that. So I don't know what is this reason why he... Uh, there's no strong uh, reason given as to why he starts supporting the thugs later. And then again, why, why does he betray them? Or, you know, it's very uh, unreal. You don't know what, what is this guy's purpose over here. If he his heart changed and he decided to support the thugs, then why did his heart change? There's no suitable reason given. So overall, the picture is very dull. It may be successful in the sense of making around uh, maybe 200 to 250 crores since it's got very high, uh, a lot of hype is released in several countries and several languages. But... Uh, Overall, the film turns out to be a bore. So I would give it uh, two stars out of five. And uh, 
if you want to watch this film i suggest you go for uh, the late night show go around about 10 pm or so so you can really enjoy a good 3 hours of sleep thank you